It's time to turn trash into treasure. Hello and welcome to the Velveteen Lounge Kitchen, where it's time to turn an unassuming bucket of cheese balls into a stylish swag lamp. But first, we need to eat all of those cheese balls, and this vintage recipe, adapted from Good Housekeeping's 10 p.m. cookbook, will help us do it. Behold, one, two, three balls. To make these festive little balls, all you do is combine one packet of softened cream cheese with minced onion and curry powder to taste. Roll into balls and refrigerate for about a half hour. Once they've firmed up slightly, roll in powder made from crushed cheese ball snacks and refrigerate until time to serve. Now that we've emptied this bucket, Paul is going to show us how to turn it into a fabulous swag lamp. Hi folks, today I'll be demonstrating from the fabulous Velvetiki room where you can see many fine homemade lamps around me. Now your first step to your, your own fabulous homemade lamp is to empty that cheese ball container. Now normally I'd say have a party, but these days you're probably just going to have to eat them all. Next you need to clean it out and remo remove the label. That's easier if it's dry and a hair dryer helps there. There's always a little bit of sticky residue and for that you'll need some isopropyl alcohol, goo gone, and elbow grease. Now that we have a lampshade, let's look at the parts we'll need to lamp it up. You'll need a two inch threaded nipple with two mating bolts, a lamp socket, a plastic shell, and a molded plug in the length you need. You'll also need a wire stripper, a standard screwdriver, a pair of pliers, a pocket knife, and an electric drill. Start by inverting the container and making a divot in the center with an awl. Use a small bit to drill a pilot hole. The divot will keep it from traveling. Enlarge that hole to 3 eighths of an inch. I'm using a step bit, which makes the job easy. Insert the nipple into the top part of the shell and tighten by hand. Place one bolt about one quarter inch down the nipple and stick through the hole in the container from the inside. Now thread the other bolt onto the protruding threads and tighten with your pliers just until firm. Feed the raw end of your cord through the nipple from the outside and straight through the shell, leaving a good length to work with. Make a cut in the center of the cord at the groove and pull apart about four inches. Use your wire strippers to remove about one inch of insulation. Twist the exposed wires to tighten and then tie an underwriter's knot in the cord ends. See the link below for instructions on tying an underwriter's knot. Notice that your socket has one brass screw and one silver screw and your cord has one smooth and one ridged edge. Tape the exposed wire with the smooth edge and wrap clockwise around your brass screw and tighten. Make sure you don't have stray wires contacting any other metal parts. Do the same with the ridged wire and the silver screw. Now pull the cord from the outside so your socket nests into the shell. Screw on the lower half of the shell to tighten and your lamp is ready to plug in. When you're ready to place the lamp, just make a knot in the cord at the right length and hang on your hook. The plastic shade and lamp parts are light enough that there's no excess strain on the cord. Now go hang your lamp! After all that crafting, you deserve a drink, and the classic Aperol Spritz pairs beautifully with one, two, three balls. To make it, all you do is combine three ounces of Prosecco, two ounces of Aperol, and one ounce club soda in a wine glass with ice and stir gently. Garnish with an orange slice. It's a lovely choice to sip while admiring your handiwork. Thank you for visiting the Velveteen Lounge Kitchen, and an extra special thank you to our Patreon patrons. Be sure to join us this weekend for a visit from Cousin Glendora. It's always happy hour at the Velveteen Lounge Kitchen. Music